Hey everyone, Tomas here and welcome to another Reverse 1999 video. As you can see, Azul is finally here with the arrival of patch 1.7 for global and wow her artwork looks absolutely gorgeous and to top it all off she is going to be a meta character as you can see on the tier list sitting in the s plus tier in the uh, support category and oh my goodness she just does everything she has good damage throughout her burn mechanic uh, she has a follow-up attacks and able to buff the team while offering debuffs against the enemy so all in all a fantastic fantastic character and even if you go through the cn tier list in 2.0 you can see some of the other characters have fallen off but Zold still sits in the s plus tier category so which is why in this video we'll go over her skills to make sure you understand why she is so strong and of course pull our very own Zold. i don't have a lot of pulls so hopefully i don't lose the 50 50 like i always do but you know what reverse 1999 is always giving us more free pulls so um, in this sense hopefully even if I do end up pitying, um, I should have enough resources uh, at the end to get or secure a Zolt. So uh, fingers crossed. But let's take a look at her character first. Now, the reason why she's so damn strong is basically her uh, Seven Veils, which is the uh, mechanic uh, gained from her insight. She'll enter Prelude, and you can see later on there is Prelude, uh, Interlude, and Finale. That is how she works, and the prelude uh, at the start of round grants the entire team pre-ignition that's indispellable in three stacks. And with the pre-ignition, before each attack, for each stack, inflicts one stack of burn, which is absolutely insane. So your entire team is able to apply burn to the enemy, and once you're in the uh, interlude at the start of round, you also gain three stacks of um, pre-ignition to the to allies and when the highest enemy burn reaches six stacks or higher then you do a um, follow-up 50 percent reality damage to all enemies and also gaining more damage if there is more burns on the target and the finale you again gain three stacks of pre-ignition and then one stack of power burst which is more damage bonus and again more if all up attack with the intermissile and doing more damage to the entire enemy team which is why even though she's a support and providing burn to the entire team instead of you know going with the traditional dps route she does have the dps stack because of the damage she's able to bring now that's not all because you can see this is the um, ultimate choking on blood which is the massive debuff causing burn as well as one stack of uh, rousing morale so which is the damage bonus and uh, this is very, very strong but she also has a very good uh, debuffing uh, skill here we got this one the mass debuff inflicts critical defense minus 25 percent up to 50 and then reality defense gets also reduced which is crazy and further if the enemy has the burn status so you can see that the skill kit is very very intertwined and uh, built for the uh, burn team without having ha having to have a specific burn character because everyone will be doing burn with pre-ignition you've got your basic attack as well which is aoe and deals the damage to two enemies and two stacks of burns so you can see that uh, all of them basically synergizes with each other in terms of the skill and the amount of burns you'll be applying to the enemy and the damage you'll be causing is really, really good. Of course, our portrait are there. Um, personally, I will be happy if I can secure one copy early, so I'm not gonna look too deep into the portrait, but portrait two, as I've seen, is going to be the best in stock. Now, looking at the Pride when sites break down, you can see that uh, she is S plus tier across every single aspect at the moment. And their pros and cons is that uh, she is highly consistent in the uh, burning application. Uh, so applying burn to the enemy and also self synergy, like we've said, the kit, just works really well with each other and access to reliable and high potency minus crit defense in reality minus reality defense debuffs and tons of personal damage for a support using burn and readily applies the power burst to do even more damage and through the on-demand access of rousing morale does take some uh, time to get online because again it's a burn team but with that said absolutely s plus tier across everything so uh, pretty much if we look at the later team compositions now the team, I should move it down to here. The team compositions in terms of synergy and stats of builds, you will see is uh, going to be centered around Zold. And I'll just bring up the 
page here. They have a team composition here, and it, one of the most popular um, synergies include Spathodia, which I did not pull, but Ju is definitely going to be extremely, extremely strong with her, and then Lucian Winsong later in the future as well. And uh, the best team is, of course, Spathodia, but this team we're gonna rock for sure with Ju plus Azolt, you're gonna do so much damage and you're gonna have the ability to slot in a sustain that doesn't have to be Tooth Fairy because Tooth Fairy does have some conflicting um, debuffs passives uh, with Azolt so you actually don't want Tooth Fairy here which means you can free up Tooth Fairy to go into another um, team because she is wanted everywhere while maintaining the extreme, extreme power uh, level and potency of um, Ju plus Azolt in this team. So really, really good, really, really good. So let's take a look at uh, our current uh, situation in terms of the pulls. We've got, let's see, 41 pulls and this is about four, I wanna say three or four uh, multi. So all in all, a total of 70. Let's hope we can get her early and not lose the 50-50, okay? Uh, I, like I've said, I've been losing quite a lot of 50-50s. I think I've only won one maybe in the entirety of this game. <laughs> so I think it's about time that I do not lose another 50-50. I really want a copy of this all because she is so beautiful. The design is awesome and of course her power level is extremely, extremely high as well. So it'd be very nice to get her now. 30 pulls in around that. Oh, is this it? The animation for... No, this is not it. The animation for the uh, high uh, six stars in this game isn't always super clear. Oh, we're tapping into our reserves already. So let's see. And not quite okay Oof, it's not looking too good it's not looking too good so here we go we've got uh yeah we only have 30 pulls left okay so we skip this we didn't even get a five star and this is the last oh here we go this is it yes okay i actually don't have another multi after this i just saw um, one pull short so please if this can be me not losing the 50 50 for once in this game that would be huge so let's take a look is please come home and yes it is the spirit character is also very very good now let's take a look at her uh, audio shall we you prepared a room for me so you did look how dainty it is i'm grateful oh, gorgeous <laughs> gorgeous Finally, me not losing the 50-50 is pretty big. And uh, yeah, like I said, I don't have another pull. So we're going to pretty much chill for the rest of the 1.7 patch and most likely the 1.8 patch and then go deep again in patch 1.9. We'll have to see. But Exult, super strong, must pull character, the burn application she applies to your team and what she offers for the rest of your um, team synergy is massive. So do not... Do not skip her if you can. Well, anyhow, it's Tobias here. And uh, thank you guys for watching. And I'll see you in the next one. And goodbye now.